Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the setup or cell setup for RoboCell. So in order to do this, we need to go to cell setup first. Click on that icon, let it open up. And once we're there, we're going to go to new up on top. And now this brings in our environment. If I hit the scroll wheel or roll it, it shows us how we tilt that way. Right click rotates right click uh, pulling in and out or up and down zooms in or out right left rotates like that and the first thing we need to do for pick in place which is our first one or really any of them that we're going to be doing we're going to put a robot on the ER4U a table and a cube and then sometimes it'll be more or less stuff so I'm going to add a table first so you see over on the left hand side I have new objects and I click onto new objects and we're going to look for tables and I look and I see well the materials general click there and table hit OK and you can change the color of the table if you want it tells us that we need a 1000 by 1000 table in the X and one hit OK and put it into a place and you can see it is a nice table it's gray extruded aluminum and that is where our ER4U robots can go click on robots ER4U hit OK and for this time, we don't want a slide base, so no slide base. We have options for a belt drive, a one meter slide base, and a 1.8 meter one. So no slide base, hit OK. And that places our robot on. And you can see it there. That's our robot. And now we need to place um, a cube onto here. We can go into materials, cube, and it's a 40 by 40 cube, plastic, hit OK, and now when I put this on, I click. It's on the table, it needs to go into position 400, zero. So to change the position of anything, I click on this, right up here, and notice it shows the positions. I then can go double click into cube one, change its position to 400 in the X, zero in the Y, hit OK. Now, I the way this is set up, the robot's not really centered, I can actually move the table. So if I click the table, and let's see, I might be able to click it, drag object, click, and now I move it like that. And that is pretty much how the first one is set up. In later video, uh, in later um, assignments, You'll be adding more or less cubes, uh, slide bases, and other objects that can all be found in here, such as peripheral devices, input outputs, storage devices we'll need at some point. There's other machines, such as, uh, do they have the bench mill? No, they have other milling machines, like the Spectralite is another milling machine. Welding tools, materials, all this other stuff with user objects, there are other things. But that's it. So now that we have there, we click save. And I would save this into a spot that it's easily to get to. So if you do it into your H drive, make sure it's an easy spot. I'm going to put it just onto my desktop. I'll call it pick and place setup. Now it's saved. Once it's saved, I can bring it into the program. So I'm going to minimize this. Actually, I can exit out, and then I'm going to go to RoboCell, click on that, once it's open, I'm then going to hit new, put a file, import 3D model, I'm going to go find that file I just had, desktop, mindless, scroll down, there it is, to pick in place, 3DC file, so you can see it there, hit open, Desktop. Hit open. There we go. And now that is in. Uh, a couple of other things that we need to make sure. Make sure we're in the Pro Edition. And otherwise than that, most of the guidelines are going to be spelled out for us. You can change window views, so simulation and teach. That's usually how I use it. We have manual movements, so if I click on any of these, right, it can open, 
Let's see if we can get this to happen here. Let's zoom in on the robot. Okay. You can also pan around. Okay. And I can notice opening and closing the robotic arm. If you hit the joints, so if I hold down one, moves it that way, Q, the other way, two. All right, so it's showing it's out of work, uh, the work zone. You could also hit like the actual keys, so it's Q, E, R, T, Y, make it move that way. We have five, right, rotates four. And then we could change it to joints. So now watch how he moves here. Notice how it keeps it steady. All right, then uh, most of these uh, assignments are to show you how to teach positions or programming positions. Here is where our simulation screen is, and that's going to get through. Uh, we'll show you that in later videos as well. But this is your basic setup. Everything you're going to be doing is going to be typed into here or brought into here. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Bye.